like everywhere else, I think uh, COVID-19 is affecting hospitals like every workplace in BC. And so we're having to take steps to deal with uh, what we call productivity losses, but the extra time we have to, to take to make sure that staff are safe and to make sure that patients are safe. So uh, it does take uh, extraordinary effort to relaunch the system. The shutting it down meant uh, for those who, who had non, what's called non-urgent schedu scheduled surgeries, which is what we uh, delayed. It was, in some respects, easy to shut that down. It's easy to say no in a system. Much harder to get going again because we have cases continuing into the system. We have to assess patients for the urgency of the surgery. It's an enormous challenge. And because we have people on a wait list already, and this simply adds to that and uh, presents a real challenge for the system. But I think we're up to addressing it. We're going to throw everything we have at this issue because I think the people who have uh, made a real sacrifice in seeing their sh surgeries delayed, uh, those people deserve that. With respect to 24-7, you'll know that in the case of MRIs, for example, we've done that around BC over the last couple of years, moving I think from uh, two machines going 24-7 to, to nine machines going 24-7 to 19 going at least 19-7. Surgeries are a little different. Uh, we need human beings. They need to uh, they do need to sleep, and so what, we've, what we're doing and, and to prepare, and we do have to staff surgeries in a significant way. So what we're doing is extending, the plan is to extend the hours every day uh, for surgeries, and then to look at weekend surgeries so we can increase our capacity. This is how we can increase the number of surgeries we can do, reduce the, the COVID-19 related increase, and then we hope continue on to reduce wait times once we get through this coming 17 to 24 months. On my way to, to uh, the legislature today, where we are now, I uh, ran into a surgeon who was biking and who told me about their commitment to get going, how determined they are. These are their patients. And I think it's, uh, and I, I speak of surgeons, I think of nurses, I think of people who keep operating rooms clean, who perform such an important function. Uh, they profoundly care about the success of the system. They are determined to deal with this backlog. And so I think we're going to have uh, enormous buy-in from everyone in the system. This is what they do. This is their life's work. And this is the biggest challenge in terms of surgery that we've faced uh, in our healthcare system. And uh, so we need to be uh, all in on it. And I know that our staff, who have been extraordinary, and it has been a challenging time, both for the mental health of people in acute care and across the healthcare system of people who have been on the front lines of COVID-19. But I also know uh, their extraordinary motivation. And I think together we can, uh, we can make enormous progress. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to report, as I say, monthly on how we're doing.